Hello everybody, welcome to the match, a very interesting match versus Solmi is quite good undead team uh, but still nowhere near as good as Caution's Chaos team who were top of the ladder for most of the season. In the booth with me is Fymir, hello. Hello everybody, there is a lot of skills on this game. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ, I can so you that the Chaos team is very scary. Yeah, it's an incredible Chaos team isn't it? Obviously we all know Caution's a really good coach. And yeah, this is a terrifying chaos team. Three full claw pumps, one with tackle jugs, perfect. Legend beast man there. Really nice carrier with edge five essentially. Um, the undead have got Setek and a wizard. I think I think there's a wizard there that you can't yes. see. And like it's a fine, it's a fine undead team. There's not much to it. I thought it was actually. Well, it has the blotch. Break tackle movie, mommy. That <laughs> with block, you know, mm. block all, all the skills you would like. But yeah. other than that, yeah, it's not a crazy develop. <laughs> Frosty. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, like it's it's really hard for the for the undead to win. Like you know, it's it's similar to uh, it's similar to the. Andy Devo versus Ducky match. This was poor from Caution, wasn't it? I don't think that was bad from Caution. He had a claw pummer here. He could have put in two players and then blitzed him and chained Setek in and then claw pummer Setek as well. Um, but he went for the easiest play. Yeah, I think that was poor. Very poor, actually, from Caution. Bad, bad Caution. <laughs> uh, Give him a yellow card. Haha, <laughs> caution. Oh, and he gets cast oh. because he didn't, he didn't pile on. <laughs> Justice. <laughs> Up against the use, so things are getting dangerous for the chaos. Yeah. Bru I, I mean, mean, that was an amazing removal, that, wasn't it? That uh, chaos, uh, it's so hard to protect everybody, but I think that chaos war was a little exposed there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, these are the three, well, I guess four. The four you've got to protect are. The three claw pommers yeah. and the ball carrier. Could have even not started the ball carrier, right? The ball carrier could have even set out the defence, potentially. He's got a nice little utility beast here as well, isn't he? Edge four, guard, stand firm. He could have dodged one of the goats on the LOS that are lying there, doing nothing. Let's get that, you know, at the end of the turn. Yeah. Oh, here we go. He's going to claw pom the mummy. Ooh. Yep, the, the mummy got the removal, but he's getting hit. Doesn't follow. Why not follow? Like he could have, he could have sandwiched this uh, this dirty player. So he wasn't. He was only getting fouled by a guard zombie if he was getting fouled. I think he had to pile there. You can't completely live in fear of the uh, of the fouls, right? Another. And he doesn't bother to dodge with the goats. Yeah. I don't know what's the. Why not? You know, try a three plus. I mean, it's not like uh, them laying there are uh, doing anything. Well, I guess like undead are pretty slow, so like having them down there means they can all stand up later, and I guess oh. that they're making. Oh, so he's doing a, a trench of bodies. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> a trench of bodies, indeed. Yeah, I guess it was pixel hooking after the apple use, but. The fact he was only getting fouled by a guard zombie, like, I guess a guard zombie or a block zombie, maybe. Like, he could have double tagged this guy. Could double GFI foul the, foul the warrior? Looks like Every he's day of the week. That, doesn't he? Every day of the week. Yep, here we go. The double GFI. Yes. The problem with fouling now is he hasn't got you know if he gets sent off he hasn't got the dirty put which he does. Jim foul he doesn't have the dirty player for the claw pommer now so now he can indiscriminately pile on. Could blitz this uh, this mummy so that he could chain away the the white and get these two and move them but he ha already hasn't done that. Oh no he's got stand firm he couldn't do that. But that uh, mummy is gonna eat the claw. Yeah, yeah, he's still gonna. He's, oh, yeah, he's got he's got jug, so he could have done. He could have he could have hit him from there. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then chained him away. 
and then repositioned these two, which I would have liked more. I love that the undead has got the uh, the calcium <laughs> Brooklyn Brawl. <Yeah. laughs> oh, there's a Kaz. Good old pile up. That's it. No well, regen. Well, Solmir, Spanish player, having a rough uh, start. Yep. I mean, he can get lucky in the next couple turns and get some uh, cast. I mean, he can get downfield. At least he's got that going for him. You know, there's uh, there's like what? How many six players here? Fuck so, they seven. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got he's got a lot of a lot of space to get up the field. I don't know. It's probably game. It's probably game after the wizard works and is a failure. That, yes. <laughs> that's when it's game, basically. As, as long as the undead have got always, they've got an outside chance of doing something right. Like the undead have never got a good chance to win this game, just never. But... No, the, the, the TV difference is brutal, and uh, it's at the TV level that the chaos are gonna have a tons of claw. Yeah. I mean, he could go for the ball here if he wanted, couldn't he? I don't think he will, but he could. Yeah, the, uh, yes, decent chance of 2D on the ball uh, with just a G5 or two. Mm -hmm. That is a G4, that would yes, that be yes. <laughs> yeah. And stand firm so he couldn't get surfed. But I mean, I, I wouldn't expect him to try it. He's just gonna, he's just gonna claw upon things and try it. I think Setek is the next target or the mummy. Yeah, Sedek, yeah. Oof. No greed now, because he knows he might get a chance at a counter score, doesn't he? Yep. The Rando Goat, no kill skills, get a stun. Not bad. God, it's so hard, isn't it? Like, the problem with the undead have is, and necros as well a bit, is that, like, zombies are absolutely terrible, so... <laughs> they are very useful at the low TV, but uh, the higher uh, you get... Yeah, they just they just can't do anything. Like sure they're great for getting claw bombed. <laughs> but they're not great for like doing anything useful. Oh he rolled a one on his break tackle. It's not that bad. Is it? It's not actually that bad the fail. He's still like, you know, caution probably I mean, still that... can't go for the ball. Ooh. Ooh. Well, talking about zombies uh, being useless, that zombie hero of the day. <laughs> they are, I mean, they're fine at getting punched. That is that is their big thing, isn't it? Wow. Yes. Oh, double skulls! I was like, I don't like blocking. I don't like blitzing him, but... Uh, like, when you could just block him, right? But Yes, also I also thought he was school. going to go for the other mummy because... That was a perfect target there. Yeah, he could. Have, I mean, he's got tackles. So I quite like just hitting the hitting the ghoul there, and then and then come round and hit this guy with the other one. I mean, yes, sad ample, but also they're crap. <laughs> That's the thing, isn't it? The problem is when you actually want to win a game of blood ball, they just can't do anything really. Just try and stall. I think he does get another turn of stall here, doesn't he? Yeah. I think yes, he has. Uh... Nope, he decides no. No. I, I think he, he he saw the the chaos warrior that was just there. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, it was great, wasn't it? He was like, oh, wait, 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 wait. There's a case where the three plus two dice. Oh, no, no, no. That <laughs> was great. He moved in there and thought, he was with the whole foot face. I can't stay. But maybe he, maybe he should have done. Maybe he should have done. Because he's he's given he's given caution three turns to score with a reroll and he's certainly going to have a chance. Yeah, I bet it did, Skuro. Yeah, it looked like it, didn't it? It looked like he moved there and then looked at it for like yeah, about forty-five seconds and thought, "Nah, screw it, I'll score." But maybe he shouldn't have done because you really don't want to give your opponent too many turns to score. And he's only got one, like he's only got two turns, so he's very unlikely to count yep. a score as well, isn't he? So. Yeah, and dog the dog, zombies are better players on Necro with the walls. With Necro, you have to kill less zombies because you have two extra walls, two extra positions. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So you have less zombies on the pitch, but... Zombies are good when they get one skill and they get block or wrestle. The second one, you know, could be a dirty player or something like that, but if they don't get doubles or something like that, they just meet to be destroyed at high TV. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was scary, but I think he probably should have done that. Like, giving an extra turn to, like, a move 6 edge 3 team that, that's very powerful at blitzing and has a couple of edge 4, like, I just think it was probably... Yeah, less zombies the better, exactly. Um, no nonce moves. <laughs> oh, Tom, there's no. Well, I think the best thing about Caution's team is he's got the JF logo, which is brilliant, isn't it? And then Solmi has got the uh, got the Brooklyn Roller, so we've got a couple of great uh, logos here. It's been an interesting game, um, as much as it could be. Uh, Caution killed a mummy. Uh, Solmi uh, maybe scored a turn too early. And the chaos are already used the apple. Yeah, yeah. So it might be it might be painful for Caution even if he can get the win. Are you seen the ball, bitch? Oh no, he's handing off to the good one. Oof. I mean, there is no chance for the counter score for the under. So maybe saving the wizard for the second half. I mean, maybe there was right. He had three ghouls here. There was an argument for the for the fireball rather than the ball, but you'd have to get lucky. But you you could get a lucky fireball if you get a lucky fireball. Then then you know, like they were they were quite deep. To be fair, the ghouls were quite yes. deep. But I I don't think uh, Solmir is desperate. He's at the desperate level that he has to fire fireball and pray. No, I don't think he is, but I think maybe he should be. <laughs> um, and the fact that there were four players over here, you know, yeah. that, that, like he could have really swarmed in, got got a, got one or two scoring threats. Like that that was an that was a severe option. He should I have think thought he about has it. A good chance of stopping the score. He does. Maybe but the I think he might have had a good chance of the count. Yeah, he might have had maybe... a good chance of the count score. Maybe the left side is uh, a little unprotected, putting too much faith on the blotch, uh, mummy. Yeah, yeah. But he's a long way from the uh, from the tackle, isn't he? The tackle's all the way over here, so he's unlikely. Oh, I guess the ball carrier could hit him. He's just gonna roll the pow, isn't he? Yeah. Here comes the pow into just death. Just instantly roll a pal. And break his armor. And kill and him. Kill. <laughs> Jesus. That's rough. That's rough. <laughs> like surely you've gotta just blitz with a with a tackle at least, right? At least blitz with a ball carrier. Cause that's it's too important to pow him there. But just roll good. Oh, yes, blitz with someone else and stack, you know, the block uh, beastman on the mummy. And now all of a sudden stopping the score doesn't look good at all, does it? <laughs> no, no, oh, no, 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 it's not looking good at all. Still there are things... Oh, and oh. now he fireballs. Oh, that's that's embarrassing. <laughs> and now let's call random uh, hit. Oh, I hate that. I mean, that wizard is terrible, because all it's doing is maybe stopping. Like, that's a really terrible wizard. 
That's genuinely terrible because at best it, all it's doing is stopping a score. It's not giving you a counter score threat. And it's uh, the targets were soft targets. They were like random gold, block a guard, the ball okay, the ball carrier, but oh come on. Just bolt like a bolt is just better. If 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 you're even gonna whiz that, which I think it's a terrible place to wizard anyway, just bolt the ball. Oh no, I think that was a, that was terrible. Yeah, now it's over. Like that was the thing. He was he was always in with a shot to the use the wizard, and then it just depends what happens with the wizard, isn't it? That's pretty much probably how my match versus Rick's gonna go. Like Rick's gonna be in it until he uses his wizard, and then <laughs> you know he might win the turn he uses the wizard, or if it fails, he might he might be out of luck at that point. Ooh. Oh, he's got Wrestle. Oh, well. Not such a good marker of the ball with Wrestle. Oh, he draw the one on the GFI, though! Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Well, there you go. Are you on, are you on the ass sheet, uh, Tom Schniss? <laughs> Uh, no and yes, probably. Will. Right. Well, there you go. That now it looks pretty over. Like caution, because now now a KO is as good as a Kaz, isn't it? Like you know, he just needs them off the field. He's, he hasn't taken any damage. His team's amazing. Um, yeah, it's looking. It's just, it's just looking a massacre now. There's no wizard. Tommy's on Yak's ass. Thank you, Gary. No wizard. No killing power on the on the team. Yeah, this is not looking good. No, it isn't. Yeah, maybe they did start at ten. <laughs> no, no, they definitely didn't. They definitely started early. <laughs> It's been a pretty good... God, doing the replays is, is a lot better, isn't it, to be fair? Like, it's so much better just going really fast. And, like, I guess it's not as good analysis sometimes in terms of, you know, a lot of... You can miss things because it goes so fast, can't you? But also, it's, it's good being snappy, but then obviously you get more memes in the, in the real-life games that take forever. <laughs> the two-hour 15 games give, supply more memes. <laughs> yep. Now he gets to just carry with his good pole carry, doesn't he? I mean, he did anyway. But... Yeah, I much prefer the wizard the turn before, just because that gave him a real shot at a counter score. Not that I, you know, not that I think it was necessarily right, but I would have definitely thought about it that turn. And I think well, he was desperate. I think, like, you know what I mean? I think it was desperate. Yes. For at least it was better chances of a stop the scoring. Yeah. Yeah, that's true, Panamu. But but still, like it goes so fast, it, it's a lot easier to miss things on the replays. Like hell, we even miss things live sometimes because because <laughs> we're talking about something stupid and then yeah, somebody gets <laughs> Oh wow, going right out wide with his with his best roadblock. It's probably not a great call. Oh, she needs. I guess you hit setback here and just stay away from this ridiculous player. On the other hand, he's got his claw bomber here, so he's just going to cast him, yes, isn't he? That's a, that's mommy. He's just going to cast him, go straight towards his biggest defensive player. <laughs> The only real chance he's got of stopping your drive. <laughs> he has uh, let the mummy, you know, out drive a lot of times. Yep. <laughs> no, Tom Smith. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> There'll be a discussion on the on the decision to stop playing Blood Bowl at half time. <laughs> 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 oh dear, how often he is now? Oh man. Yeah, like it's good on in in I mean in live, you are like, yeah, you are, yeah, pause and look, yeah, you can pause sometimes in these days, that's true, yeah, and then have a good look at something. That mummy is gonna get the club bomb at the game, maybe. Yeah, yes, a free probably. club bomb hit on the zombie. I really didn't like just making him relevant, I much preferred Blitzing <laughs> Make him irrelevant. I mean, obviously, if you cast him, you make him irrelevant, but why make him relevant? <laughs> like, he, he made himself irrelevant. <laughs> He's movement three. <laughs> you know, he doesn't even follow. Why does he not want to pile on? You invested a reroll for that. Ah, yeah. come on. You, you invest a reroll, you go all in. Yeah, like, like, seriously, like, that's really weird to reroll and then not pile. Yes, because you have Juga now, you know, you choose uh, both down, push the mummy, and the club bomber is safe. God, he didn't GFI, he moved there and then did he? he must have misclicked to there, wasn't he? <laughs> he must have misclicked to there. Holy shit. Also, he can just, he can just break tackle in and 2D the ball. Is he going to do that? I do that. No, he's not. I mean, it wasn't needless, was he? He obviously misclicked to there. Like, that had to be a misclick. Like, that's insane to stand there on purpose. There's no way he thought, I'll stand here, and then thought, whoops, oh no, that's not a good idea. <laughs> he must have just misclicked. <laughs> and then once you've stand there, then you've, you've got to GFI, haven't you? This man loves his uh, zombie dodge. Yeah. Is he going to finally run away from the mummy? <laughs> Also, upon this goo. Well, not that it knocked him down, but. Yeah, I like, I like that. I feel, I feel like this is what he should have done on like turn nine. <laughs> well, ten. That's a bold follow. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's got. I mean, yeah, that's. <laughs> no, he's literally abandoning the ship there. <laughs> Good luck, mommy. I mean, already has a free to the block with claw bomb, so. Oh my god, so many free hits, chaos turn. Yep. Wow, starting with a block, less block. Um, curl palm. I really don't like that because I would have wanted to blitz with this claw palm to, to hit the mummy if I didn't have him on the free hit. Maybe he's not going to hit the mummy, maybe he's just going to hit set him. Oh, he's just going to try and get forward now. Now he's going to care about getting forward. Okay. 
Okay, well that was pretty good then, wasn't it, if that was what you wanted to do. But why not just hit with the core bomber? Because it, the core bomber could only one do the blodge mummy. Like, you have to hit with the core bomber there, don't you? Surely. Surely. Oh, zombie dodge for... Uh... Yeah, zombie well, dodge in the hole. I think you've got to hit the claw bomber, haven't you? Yes. Two D on the ball, you mad lad. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, the brick tackle of the mummy, yes. Yeah. Oh, he has to do it. Nope. <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> 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 oh, good, nice play, Chugs. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> that was a terrible play. <laughs> it was a brick tackle to plus and two GFIs to get two dice on the ball. <laughs> Without needing to do that, uh, you know, 1D. <laughs> That's what you get for a for a cool move. Your guy just dub scores and gets fucking... <laughs> Was it K or Cas? Cas, Cas. Oh dear. But yeah, that was a nice play. I still didn't mind. I, do you know what? I still just didn't mind blitzing the claw palm. I, w I wouldn't have minded just blitzing the claw palm still, even though I didn't see that. And still then just like break tackle and then double G if I had to base the ball, which would have also failed, obviously. But then I guess basing it's kind of pointless, right? He hasn't got dodge, I guess, yeah. If you see that, if you see that move, then I guess it makes sense to go for it. But I, I just didn't see it. But then I didn't know he had break tackle, right? If I had taken blodge and break tackle on my mummy, then I'd probably know my mummy had break tackle, so I would have seen it. <laughs> like, I think that's, that's one of the disadvantages of, like, casting them, because it's like, you know, this guy's yeah, taken no, no, these I... skills with the intent to use them, hasn't he? I will be using it all the time. Brick tackle. Oh. Well, he's got ghouls that could hit the ball. Like, his ball carry is pretty shit. It's only strength three and there's no dodge. So it's, it's a very hittable ball all the time. Yeah, it is a straight up turtle. It's weird, isn't it? It's like. I don't think this is Caution's proudest moment. <laughs> oh. No, he's stood up. He should not have stood up. He should have blocked and he should have gone 1, 2, 3, 4, GFI, GFI, shouldn't he? Oh, you can just dodge him for the assist. Okay, that's pretty good. It's the power. It's the power. Boy, howdy. Oh, rolls a one. Oh, no. I thought, I thought he was Atch for some reason. I guess I just saw the edge of this guy and thought he had Atch. There's the break tackle. Oh, hey. And now it's hey, screaming. Pretty nice. Well, except one's in contact. <laughs> Not that nice. He's not blocking He just had a block. Yes, he got a DC block there. He just didn't and then he could have a... Blitz with the ball. Ooh. Oh my god, out of rerolls! Both teams are out of rerolls. Oh my god, this is pretty wild, isn't it? All of a sudden. It's gone from ball like, happening now. It's gone from like totally boring foregone conclusion, a wasted wizard, into like... <laughs> 
a completely mental zero reroll potato in game. <laughs> He's got the power, so he's got the break tackle hit. Oh, this break tackle, and there's no rerolls. Yeah, this break tackle's better, isn't it? I don't know, the mummy has a. He's got dodge, but he's got a GFI. I guess he's got mighty blow. But he had a GFI, whereas that was just the dodge, wasn't it? So it was more likely to work with, with Setek. Um, but this way, I guess you've got a mummy in, in contact, which is quite nice. Also, it also got set Ek off a claw bomber, which was good. <laughs> and target the uh, usual player there, so good. <laughs> yes, jokes. <laughs> oh wow, some crazy chain push. Oh no, not crazy. I wonder if he could have chained it, yeah. Like, it's hard though without any rerolls, isn't it? Yeah, no, no. No space for any kind of... Oh, he rolled a one! No dodge! KO's oh, himself! Kill. <laughs> oh boy, howdy. I wonder if he regrets that greed reroll now. <laughs> oh my god, so extra time. Uh, do you think he'll regret the greed reroll that he didn't even pile on? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> and so KO's, you know, with all the power, haven't done much damage at all. Yeah. Oh, he could have. He could have. Oh no, he stand firm. He could have surfed that, couldn't he? But, um, maybe they should have just uphill, uphill the warrior and uphill surfed him. <laughs> like at the end. <laughs> oh no, maybe he, he should stay away from from uphills. He can't even yeah. MD. Say hey, that. We're not rerolls. Two up here. Let's. Boy, howdy. Oh boy. Overtime. Overtime. Yeah, there might have been a chain in, but like that's the thing, you know, it just goes so fast on the replays that you can't really see if there was a good chain on. Ooh, Chaos won the toss, didn't they? Yeah, ah, well. Again, it's probably over, you know. <laughs> um, they've got eight turns, there's, there's lots of players removed. Mummy's gone, Guard White's gone. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten players total. Um, yeah, it's looking like... A good bunch of them are useless. Yeah, yeah. We're just back where we were eight turns ago. Same again. Yes. Replay of the second half, this time without rerolls. Yeah. So, Chaos only needs you know, to make a mistake of uh, like a double skull or an accident like that. And yeah. Things could be very interesting. Yeah, there's a lot more dice involved now, isn't there? That's the, which, is, which is what... What Solmir wants, right? He wants that dice to be a big factor because his team's absolutely garbage <laughs> compared yes. to the chaos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Diamond played for kicks. This hasn't been, this hasn't been on purpose, has it? It's just been uh, some mistakes <laughs> and some bad dice, I guess. I really hated the just running into the mummy, like that just seemed so weird. Your opponent's got one roadblock and you put it over here. <laughs> so put your team over there. Yeah. And a roadblock that has break tackle dodge, so you know mm. should be in the middle so he can go wherever he wants. Just a stun. But pretty good for the rookie. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> really, Gary? <laughs> I am not undefeated in Chalice Kicks. I only remember that. I only remember the one that I lost to uh, early. I might have got the kick somewhere else. Here we go. Bang out the Strength 5 Warrior. Ooh, nearly stuns him. How old was that there? Now they're brave follow. Yeah. It was great, so it might still be going on. I don't, I don't know. This is a bit more from Caution this time. He's making safe moves first. He's going away from the mummy. <laughs> Ooh, one D more! Oh no, it wasn't one day, it was two dub skulls. Oh my god, I just saw the skull, I just saw the skull, so I thought it was a one day. I was like, why, wow, did he not realise he was strength four? But no, it was just dub, dub skulls. Oh my god, well, dub skulls could mean. Could it was mean the that's last action the game, of the turn, but uh, yeah, that's one player less. Could mean some chance. This guy can block to get guard in, he can put an assist in so he can 2D him and then open this up. <laughs> yeah, because you just blitzed him. I, I preferred I preferred making this hit. Ah, uh, but then that's only he's only he's got he's got guard there. Mm. I'm I would have liked to have tried to knock him down so that you could get in here, but this is still pretty decent, isn't it? Pretty decent. Oh. Jim Shard. <laughs> now that heroic follow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I mean that like that, that is the good thing for zombies, isn't it? This is this is prime yes. zombie zombie thing. Like much better on defense where they can just stand in the way and get core bombed. Yeah, three warrior, three warriors on the twat magnet. It's pretty great. I didn't really like that claw pump hit. I would have much preferred to have. Well, take this hit first. See if you see if you're natural power him, and then if you didn't power him, then it would have been good to have freed up the claw pump and hit him with tackle, wouldn't it? But oh my god, he he got the KO. Wow. Long time coming. Counting the amount of hits that the mummy have taken. It seems terrible, doesn't it? Actually, hitting hitting the rookie zombie with a claw bomb just seems awful. I guess for uh, protecting the ball, the stand firm uh, guard AG4 is better, but. Yeah, yeah, I guess it's better if he dub skulls than if the stand firm dub skulls, yeah. Wow, he's even defending against the break tackle now, unbelievable. Unbelievable, Jeff. Maybe he, like took the second half easy and then realised he's got to. Uh, he's actually got to win in the in the overtime. <laughs> yep. But he came way too close to losing this, I think, caution, because like if he lost the toss, and if the you know if this KO had come back, it could have been eleven versus eleven in overtime, and he, he could have easily lost like you know just a break from the the ghouls could have made a quick break and. The break tackle could have come with them, and it, it could have been real bad. But surely, after removing both mummies, surely Caution will win this now. Surely.
That's the pow. Does he pile? Doesn't have to. No need. No need. Has he even pile at any moment of the game? <laughs> no, not much. <laughs> Oof. Wow, doesn't he make that hit? I guess in case 189. 189 was a terrible option, but I would prefer him to dodge with a club bomber. Yeah. It's really hard for the for the undead now, isn't it? Their team is just rubbish. Well, where turn is gonna be turn 21 for caution, and he still needs to find a way to cross through. Yeah, he's gonna do mean, something, but he's got so many more players now, and his players are so much better. Unless he gets, unless he gets some horrible dice, he should he be just able to do it. Hero one dealer. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah, I mean, you need to do something, and that's <laughs> that, that proper something. <laughs> yeah. So he does the 3D first. Because he, he could have just done this 2D, right? Then he would have had the guard for the 3D and then he could have moved this guy somewhere else. But I guess making it three, the 3D before the 2D is a little bit safer. And then he gets oh. the guards. just running out of things that can stop him now, isn't it? Even if he does dub yes. still. But he has got three turns, so maybe he can just keep the keep the ghouls in front. And maybe he can make him roll dice to score. I mean, if uh, and rolls double scarves or something like that, he was going to be in big, big trouble. Yeah. And he's rolling a lot of blocks. Ooh, he's got to push him back, haven't he? Surely you got to just push him back. Oh, fails the one in nine. And now, there's a now real there good chance a of a gaping hole. Yes. Oh, there's I mean, one anyway. Another, there's one already. Another gaping hole. Yeah, there's already. Is so now he gets yes. through. Run away, move with the ball. I think that was way closer than it should have been. <laughs> yeah, I think it was. Uh, and they, they were fighting until the end. Mm. That should have been the blitz, shouldn't it? Should have blitz, then one, two, three, four, five to like tighten up this up. Yes, because it was, you know, uh, just pushes. Gives the undead a very easy uh, blitz in the wall. Yeah. I guess, yeah, he gets to run through this way, though. That's that's pretty decent, isn't it? Yeah, because I guess the rattle was the scariest thing, and that wouldn't have... I guess he could have put it there. One, two, one, two three, four, five, six... No, he could have put it there. Hmm. Yeah, this is pretty good against the rattle, to be fair. What about this guy? One, two, three, GFI, GFI. Yeah, that's that's the way, isn't what it? I was thinking, if that yeah. was being pushes instead of uh, any that, it would be even easier. Oh, oh hero player fail. <laughs> he can chain him forward now as well, probably. Right, well, I think we're we're nearly live. I think we are live. Yes, yeah, the, the clock's going. We're actually live. Unbelievable, Jeff. He's not in range, is he? So he should really... I think he... Maybe he could have done it. I'm, I'm not sure, but like... Maybe this guy could have come in there and he... Oh my god, he's dub-scold! 
Well, there you go. There might be a chance. There might be a yes, chance. Yes, there is a chance here that we're going to kicks. <laughs> Unbelievable. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI, GFI. So he could just like dodge to to mark him. Yes, dodge to mark. One, two, three, seventy-five percent. Seven. GFI, GFI. It's got to be the play, hasn't it? Yes, because he has literally nothing else to do. <laughs> I mean, all the, the the rest of the players are just usually zombies. Yeah. That all of them are tagged. So, well, you have the white, but can't go anywhere. Yeah. I mean, the, the problem is if you go with this one, like what you you could dodge there and hit him. But it's a 1D, isn't it? I think it's much better to just get something marking him so he's got to roll dice. Yes, go for the far plus and then try the blitz. Oh, assist with the other, but he's got wrestle. I wouldn't want to assist with a wrestle guy. I'd want to hit with a wrestle guy. Plus, then the wrestle guy's going to make more rolls, right? He's got to go 3 3 2 2 to assist. 3 3 2 to assist. I think I'd, I'd, I wanted to hit with a wrestle. If I'm going with that, I'm going with the best chance I can get, and that was the Oracle. Yeah, that was interesting till it was. Yeah, it was uninteresting at the start, then it was made interesting, and then. Yes, yes, it yes. Wasn't. <laughs> yeah, no, I know, I know, I know. I know. I mean, there's the argument, but you're somewhat likely to knock him over, aren't you? Chanter uh, with a risk assessment. <laughs> yeah, well, congratulations, Caution. Uh, he made a meal of it, but he won, which I guess is the most important thing, isn't it? Maybe he had some chalice nerves. Um... <laughs> 58 blocks versus 63. These people are <laughs> battered each other with a vengeance. Yeah, and commiseration, soulmate. Thank you very much. If I'm here for the commentary, as always, absolutely glorious. It's always a pleasure. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.